And what's become famous around Ramsey was because many, many years ago, decades ago, people came to me and they said, what do you do first? Do you do retirement first or do I do kids college first? That's very important. Do I have an emergency fund first? That's really important. I need to get rid of this stupid credit card debt. It's 22%. That's very important. Where do I start? And what we did at the time many years ago was we laid it out and then we adjusted it a couple times in the early days. We only adjusted it in 25 years. We laid out what to do first, what to do second, and we call them the baby steps. Because if you eat an, if you want to eat an elephant, you do it a bite at a time. So if you want to get control of your money, you do it a step at a time. Baby steps. Baby step one is you save a thousand dollars quickly, a little starter emergency fund. Once you've done that, and some of you just have that money, you just name it that just now. You've already did baby step one. You just reset that money in your mind over to the side. That's baby step one. Baby step two is you pay off all of your debt except your home using the debt snowball. The debt snowball is where you list your debts, smallest to largest, pay minimum payments on everything but the little one. You attack the little one with a vengeance. You're not going on vacation. You're in debt. You're broke. You're not going out to eat. You're in debt. You're broke. You work all the time. You're in debt. You're broke. There's a great place to go when you're broke, to work. (laughs) Okay? This is what you do. And you bust your butt, and it's scorched earth, no lifestyle, no nothing. You sell so much stuff, the kids think they're next. You name the dog eBay and the cat Craigslist. Everything's going out the door. We're getting this mess cleaned up. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. People that do it with that intensity get out of debt in an average of about 18 to 24 months. Now, average means that some of you have half a million dollars of student loan debt like Jade did. took her seven years. Okay, And then average means some of you have $5,000 in debt and $10,000 in your bank account when you heard me rent, and you just went and paid it off. Now you're debt-free. took you 13 seconds. Okay, But the average is 18 to 24 months. Then when you finish that, with the same level of intensity, you continue. We call this gazelle intensity, the gazelle running from the cheetah for its life. When you get out of debt, you finish baby step three, with the gazelle intensity, and that's three to six months of expenses. Then we turn off the intensity, and we move from intensity to intentionality, and we do baby steps four, five, and six simultaneously. That's 15% of your income going into retirement. That's what's going to make you a baby steps millionaire in about 12 years following this plan. You're going to put money into kids' college if that's applicable, and you didn't sell them off. (laughs) Number no, no. Baby step six is any other money we can find in the budget, we're going to throw at the house. And the average person paying off their house following these baby steps is doing it. We've been doing this for 30 years. Is doing it in about, ten, in about 10.2 years. In our Baby Steps Millionaires study we did of millionaires, some of them had followed our stuff, some of them hadn't. They were doing it in about 11 years. Wow. So, But the point is there's an intensity for that first three steps to get out of debt and get your emergency fund in place because until you do that you're broke and you're walking around in a culture strutting around like you got some money you got no money shut up you're broke quit acting like you're something you're broke